I have been doing some research for you. And before you saw a couple of videos ago, I made a video on the like making money on Fiverr and how you can do that and those kind of things. So I've been doing a bit of research and I've actually found the best, I'm going to tell you the five because I found a lot more, but I'm going to tell you the highest paying jobs that you can get on Fiverr. And this doesn't just relate to Fiverr. This is any freelancing jobs, the highest paid ones that you can do. Now, of these five, some of them are specialized, some of them aren't. I've got my list on my computer here because I've got a bit of research on each of them. But yeah, of these five, like I said, some anyone can do and some you need a bit of knowledge and others you just downright can't do unless you know what you're doing. All right, so before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I think like not many, like most of the people who watch this aren't subscribed. I've got a huge percentage of people not subscribed who watch my videos. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We just passed, passed. We just passed 7,000 subscribers, so it's amazing. And honestly, my next goal is 10,000 subscribers. And I think I might do some sort of giveaway. I'm not sure, I can't decide yet. It, it all depends. But anyway, let's just get right into this video. And starting at number one, what is the best paying job on Fiverr? And that is video editing or video marketing, I've written down here. So video editing, video marketing, same kind of thing, but basically, you can use iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Windows Me Media Maker, Movie Maker, whatever it's called, or if you're slightly better, you can use Premiere Pro, and you can literally edit people's videos. It's that simple, right? Everyone needs a video editor. YouTubers need video editors. Companies need video editors. Old age homes need video editors. Small companies that don't really have social media presence need video editors. They need people who are gonna create videos as well. So video, anything to do with video creation pays really, really well. And online, it's saying, that you can get between 300 and 18,000 for a job. That's just quite a big, that's just quite a big ballpark there, but you could definitely charge between three and $500 for basic video editing jobs, like a 10 or 15 or 20 minute video. So that sounds like quite an appealing thing to try and do. Number two is website building. Now website building obviously is a lot harder because you assume that you need to know uh, CSS or HTML or Java or, or some sort of coding language. Now, you could technically make a Shopify store or a WordPress store or a Wix store or a Squarespace store where you don't need any sort of knowledge. And I've actually done that. I've created a Shopify store for someone and charged a thousand pounds and that was a while ago. So you can definitely do that and you don't need any knowledge to create some sort of store. So if you go to Fiverr and you create a job, and um, let's have a think, I will create your Shopify website or I will create your Squarespace website. You'll be surprised with how many people need that and you don't need any knowledge in order to do that. It's really, really simple. In fact, you could probably follow a tutorial right here on YouTube. In fact, you could probably follow a tutorial right here on YouTube. So it's it's really, really simple. And that's number two. And you could probably look, you're probably looking at charging anywhere from, I would say 300 again, maybe all the way to a thousand, depending on the complexity of the website. All right, it really depends. Number three is mobile app development. Now this is the one, this is one of the ones that I was talking about that you probably need some sort of speciality, set of skills. You will need to know what you're doing. You can't just go about and create a mobile phone app. Well, I say that, but you can probably create some sort of torch or calculator, but it's not gonna get you anywhere. If you wanna create an actual decent phone app, uh, it's going to be difficult and you're gonna need some sort of coding, programming knowledge. So what you could easily do is find someone to help you create it. You could design it. You could find someone to create it for you. But we're not talking about you creating things for yourself. You're talking about you being a freelancer. So as a freelancer, I don't think you'll be able to do mobile phone apps unless you actually know what you're doing. It's not like video editing and it's not like website creation. Number four is graphic design. Graphic design jobs are all over the place. Everyone needs a graphic designer to create logos, flyers, posters, infographics, info cards, business cards, anything, you name it, anything to do with graphics, you name it. And yes, technically, you need to kind of know what you're doing for graphic design. However, you could do a lot of research online and get good at it. You could just be very arty and go into it. I'm not a graphic designer. In fact, I have a friend who's in university studying graphic design. However, I do think that if I put my mind to it, I could probably design quite a few things with different programs and be quite, quite, good at graphic design just because I've got a quite a creative mind and I did a lot of art and photography and videography. So think about whether or not you've got a creative mindset if you're able to draw and design ideas and design things, 
Then graphic design could be quite a cool one. You could easily do a logo job for people. You could do a flyer job for people. You can design people's business cards. It, it's endless and that can pay quite a lot. You can easily charge anywhere up to maybe £250 or dollars for a job, depending on how big it is, obviously. If someone's asked to design their logo, you're looking at maybe $30 to $50. Whereas if someone said, can you design a whole flyer or a whole infographic, you're looking at a bit more than that. So that is definitely a potential. And number five is copywriting. Copywriting in the entire sense of the word copywriting. And that means copywriting for businesses, copywriting for personal, whatever, um, writing about me pages, blog posts, articles, all of it. Anything to do with writing pays amazingly. You can charge literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars for writing. Now, can you write? Can you touch type? Can are you able to do any of this stuff? Well, you need to have some sort of, you need to be semi-decent English, right? Because you don't want to, you don't want to give people bad work. So if you're good at English, you feel like you're able to write in English and speak English in a decent manner, then give it a go at writing. If you, if you think you can do that, then post a few gigs, post a few jobs about writing, maybe writing about me pages or writing website content, anything like that, anything related to writing paid really well. So those are the top five in my mind, jobs that you could be doing, freelance jobs that you could be doing for people. I hope that makes sense. Again, this is off the back of my Fiverr video where I spoke about how you can make money with Fiverr. And this is just a bit more specific on what particular jobs you could actually do that are paying the best on Fiverr at this point in time. And that is it for this video. Now I wanna show you, cause a lot of you know that I've been working on my kitchen. I've been building it myself and I'm actually standing in it right now. And I wanna give you an update of what it looks like. So I just thought, why not? I could do this. So this is what it looks like so far. Everything is pretty much in. I'm just working on doing the backsplash over here. I've covered the boiler. All of this has got to go in and covered but it's looking pretty good, isn't it? And then, and then once all of this is done, I'm going to be starting to work on the outside office just down there. And yeah, all of this was done by me. So uh, like I made that video, I made a video about how like money over time and the amount of time it's taken me to make this, there is no way it was worth it for me to pay Ikea over 3000 pounds to do it for me not even a chance. So definitely think about money over time and see what is more worth it for your time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I bring out new videos and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching guys.